it going, Grandma? Doing good. Doing good. I love it. Where are we? We're in London. <laughs> We're something awake for us. Something like that. But this is pretty. Okay, go ahead. Basically, we are in Soho. We just finished up at the Writing House Cafe. We're gonna hang out some more here in London and then we're gonna head over to the Barbican Conservatory. Okay. Where are we trying to go, Grandma? We're going to go to what? Mark? Primark. 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 <laughs> um, a luggage place that Jasmine got my nerve. Tell me I need to get. That is a bold faced lie, Grandma. Oh, no, it is. That is such a bold faced lie. You don't get on my nerve if I'm telling you all the time. because we had to go all the way around to try to find Primark. Huh? We'll go back to that. Yeah. <laughs> you can make these handles on, on these umbrellas to stay on your hand. You know that? Because it doesn't come off. Hold on, when this turns off, you're going to sit there back. Can you record me? You want me? It's recording? Yeah. Okay. Just make sure it's focused on my face. Yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. Is it good? This is good. And the background is excellent. Awesome. Well, anyways, we are just arrived to the conservatory, uh, Barbecue Conservatory. It took us a very long time to get here. Right, Grandma? Yes. <laughs> but, but it's anyways, worth it. We finally made it, and it is beautiful in here. Um, it's just like a bunch of different plants. They also have a cafe in here, um, but it's on the fourth floor and the third floor in case you're interested in going here. That's it. We're busy for I don't think they are. I don't care. I don't trust them.
try to head to T2. Didn't I see something about that? What? Didn't, I, didn't we see something that said T top? No. No? I don't think we did. Okay. But we're gonna try to head and find it. Okay. Just got home and today was a little too hectic to vlog slash talk to the camera. Um, but it was a really good day. We went to the Riding Horse, no, the Riding House Cafe, which I highly recommend if you ever come to London. Um, it's in the Soho area. And then after that, we did a little bit of shopping at Primark, had to get a few things. And then we went to the Barbican Conservatory, which is at the Barbican Center. Um, and it's totally free to go. It was amazing. We just kind of walked around for a little bit. We were really tired because we've been walking for a long time. Um, yeah, London is a city where you have to really walk around. You can't just, you know. I mean, I guess you could take a ton of Ubers, but that costs a lot of money. And that's not something that we wanted to do. So we decided that we would... Um, Oh yeah, there's like a little skylight and I just hit my head, so there's that. Um, but we decided that we would walk and take, you know, public transportation since that's the easiest and cheapest way to travel around London. Also, highly recommend an Oyster card if, if it's your first time visiting London um, or not. Oyster card is the easiest means to pay for public transportation. It's cheaper to take the bus than it is to take the train. It's like a pound 50. Um, the bus, I mean the train is is gonna be like two pound 40 and then the bus will be like one pound 50. So there's that, but it was definitely cheaper to take the bus instead of the train. We took both today cause you know, it was easiest for us to do um, different multiple types of transportation. And then an app to download is called City Mapper. It's really good at just helping you if you want to bike, walk, take, you know, the train or the tube, rail, um, as they call it. And then you could also take the bus as well. So they have all options if you're like, I just want to take the bus or I want to take the tube and the bus or I just want the fastest way to get there, or if I just want to walk, it tells you how many calories you burn um, if you decide to walk and or do the bike. Um, and it tells you the amount of minutes and then the frequency in which that public transport will take to get to that specific stop. Um, in case you miss one, it might take five to seven minutes to catch the next one. So you're not waiting forever, at least in London with the buses. The tube is a different situation. Sometimes there's protests going on, so the tube is not always super reliable, but it's pretty reliable regardless. So this is day one of London. I think tomorrow is going to be a little bit more exciting in terms of, well, exciting for me because we're going to be going to museums um, majority of the day. So it's more exciting because I'll be able to actually like capture more footage whereas today we were just kind of shopping and it's hard to kind of vlog when you have lots of bags around you um, and like thousands upon thousands of people just all around you and you're carrying around a you know DSLR camera with a gorilla tripod um, it's not exactly inconspicuous so not easy to conceal when you're out in public, out in public, um, trying to document your life. <laughs> um, but anyways, that is day two, day one, I mean. And I thought I would say goodnight to you guys and see you tomorrow for day two. Bye!